What if Steph Curry joined the Dallas Mavericks this summer instead of Klay Thompson? As you can see, we're here in NBA 2K24 with the upcoming roster for the 2024-25 NBA season. And on the Dallas Mavericks, instead of Klay Thompson, who signed a three-year contract with the Dallas Mavericks, we have, of course, Stephen Curry. Steph Curry, of course, one of the greatest point guards of our time and one of the best players of our generation. So, yeah, so I have put him here on the Dallas Mavericks on NBA 2K24. And if I go all the way over to the Golden State Warriors roster here, we still have Clay Thompson on the Golden State Warriors roster instead of Steph Curry. So I thought it'd be just pretty interesting to see how things would play out. I mean, obviously, it's not like the craziest simulation, if you will, but I think this Luka Curry and Kyrie Duo could do some serious damage here in the NBA, and they could probably win an NBA championship for sure just on year one. I mean, this Mavericks roster already made the finals last year. Now I'm adding Steph Curry onto this roster. Anything's possible. Also, as you can see, I put Kyrie at the two. Of course, that's how, where he starts in real life with Luka, and uh, Luke is going to be at the three this season. Curry's still going to be at the one. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. Let me get show you the rotation first before we kick into the simulation. And here's what we're rocking with on 2K24. Curry at the one, Kyrie at the two, Luka at the three, PJ at the four, and Gaffer's going to be our five. Lively will come off the bench along with Josh Green, Dante Exum, and Quentin Grimes. Let's see how things play out on 2K24. Um, I'll probably do at least two seasons of this, maybe three, considering Clay Thompson's actual contracts three years. Regardless, let's see how things play out. I'll get some game action too. I'll see you guys at the end of year number one. At the end of the first season, Luka Doncic is your MVP, 32, 11, and 10 for him. Still Victor, Rookie of the Year. We got Kaminga, six man with the Warriors, Victor Defense Player of the Year, and Jalen Johnson, only up to 10 points per game, but he's your most proved player. Luka is on the All-NBA first team, uh, no Kyrie or Curry on the second team, as well as the third team, but you know, it is what it is. We were the first seed though, so that is of course what you like to see. And obviously the Warriors, yeah, the Warriors weren't even close. Let me see Klay uh, Thompson's uh, numbers at the end of the season, just very quickly before before we go into the Warriors. Clay this year averaged 18 points per game, so he was still pretty solid. Three rebounds, three assists. So this is pretty much what you expect from Clay Thompson right there. And yeah, let's check out our player stats. So with Curry now on the Dallas Mavericks, which is crazy to say. Luka, like I mentioned before, 32, 11, and 10 for him. We had Curry 25, 3, and 6. Very good season for Steph Curry. And Kyrie Irving had 24, 4, and 5. Also shot PJ Washington and the rest of the Dallas Mavericks roster. At the end of the season, we were 63 and 19. We're in, we weren't even like contested at all by the Tim Rolls, who were 13 games behind us even the thunder i thought would be very better than 48 and 34 but they were 15 games behind us we also won 13 at the end of the season so that kind of explains this so they dallas Mavericks were really in their groove towards the end of the year uh, we're gonna take down the phoenix suns in the first round booker beal alan durant yusuf nurkic mason plumley i mean i don't expect too much of a issue there but actually as soon as i say that we lose the first two games i was kind of expecting like a clean sleep honestly 50 from Kyrie and 42 from Curry and we still lost. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I can't believe we did that. We've now done three O's to the Suns. I might be completely wrong in this. Beal 40, Durant 24, Nurkic 17 and 16, Kyrie had 33, Luka 28, 10, 11, and Curry had 24 and 11, but we're still losing. We're down 3-0 to the Phoenix Suns. This is crazy. We actually get swept by the Phoenix Suns in the first round. I was not expecting that at all. We we're 63 and 19. The Suns were 43 and 39 on the year. We just got swept by them that I, honestly that, <laughs> i think that's 2k bro that makes sense the suns actually beat the nuggets as well okay the thunder finally beat them is the thunder gonna be taking on the pacers as the thunder win the nba championship but how do we lose to the suns even honestly how did the suns even beat the denver nuggets too I, I don't understand. Well, I mean, this team's stacked, but regardless, we somehow lose to the Phoenix Suns in the first round, which is not good for us at all. So, of course, we're going to be doing another year. Probably, actually, we'll do three years of this because that's Clay's actual contract in real life. So, let's head to year number two, and obviously, let's hope for a much better result. End of year number two, Luka is your MVP yet again, 31, 10, and 11 for him this year. Cooper Flag, rookie of the year with the Utah Jazz. Ace Bailey, six man with the Pistons. Victor, defense player of the year. And Cody Williams down the Warriors is your most improved player. Luka is on the All-NBA first team this year. Again, no Curry or Kyrie on the second or third team. But you know what it is what it is. Shout out Lonzo Ball as well. Hope he plays in real life this season. Showing out the player stats at the end of year number two. Let's see how things play out. Luka Doncic, 31, 10, and 11, like I mentioned before. Also with 1.4 steals per game. Curry had 24 points, 3.5 boards, and 5.5 and dimes. 21, 4, and 5 for Kyrie Irving. P.J. Washington had 11 and 5. Jane Hardy up to 9 points per game this year. Only playing 13 minutes 
confidence, though, but I mean, I, I mean, look who's playing ahead of him. It kind of, it kind of makes sense. Uh, at the end of the season, we were 59 and 23. Another good season for the Dallas Mavericks atop the Western Conference. Only a one game lead over the OKC Thunder. Hopefully this year, though, we uh, don't lose to the Phoenix Suns in the first round because that would be absolutely brutal. We're going to be taking on the Portland Trailblazers in the first round. Scoot, Sharp, Grant, Bobby Portis now, DeAndre Ayton, Simons. Are they solid? Yes. Are they gonna beat us i i hope not <laughs> we do win here in game one 112 to 102 curry at 28 lean the way in scoring for us in game number two we have also taken the w 145 to 105 look at 43 11 and 11 curry only had 14 this one though but that's what i'm saying like it's not really that big a deal you got luca and Kyrie still on the squad too 129 to 108 victory luca 27 13 and 14 Kyrie at 37 in this one and we, oh, i was about to say we, we went to the next round but we do not because we're going to do that in the next game game number five we're going to be going on to the next round taking on the pelicans cj dejounte murray ingram zion also let me know how you guys think the pelicans are going to do this year with cj murray ingram and zion i'm kind of curious by that you know luke cornett herb jones trey murphy they got a solid team they need a better center though but they do have some solid players on that pelicans roster uh in game one though they do win 131 115 curry at 40 in this one but zion just 34 then 26 for ingram as we are down 1-0 in the series we come back in game two 30 9, 13, 12 for Luka Doncic, 23 for Curry, 19, 6, and 9 for Kyrie Irving. We take game two. Game number three is also ours, 124 to 110, Zion 27 for them, Luka 37, 8, and 10 for us, Curry 27 and 5. We're taking game number four as well, things are definitely going our way. Can we win in game number five? No, we do not, so hopefully we win in game number six. We, and no, we do, <laughs> no, we do not. Uh, let's get a sim guess here for game number seven. Let's see how things play out. Uh, this game will be taking place in Dallas. We have a good lead so far at this point, as soon as I say that the Pelicans are to come back in this ball game, but it looks like we're pulling away a bit yeah we're gonna pull away 120 to 96 luca had 34 17 and 12 only one to 10 from three that's not good we're gonna take it on the okc thunder in the western conference finals obviously they are the best other team in the western conference shay isaiah joe ludort j dub chet isaiah hartenstein they got alexander sar now on this team too how'd they get him sadiq bay case and walls so they're just they're just stacked. It is what it is. But we take game one, 118, 116. Curry, 26, 5, 5. Luka, 22, 11, and 9. And Kyrie had 20 and 7 in game number one. Game number two also goes to us, 32, 15, and 11 for Luka. 24 for Curry, 20 and 10 for Gafford. 15, 7, and 11 for Kyrie Irving. It's now a 2 1 series following game three loss. Shea at 29, Sar 23. Look at these big performances. Luka just dropped 20 rebounds in game number three, by the way. It's now a 3 1 series lead. 37 for Shea. Kyrie leading the way in scoring for us. Can we go to the NBA Finals? Not in game number five. That was a huge scoring, but 140 to 137. Jeez. Shea had a triple double. Can we win in game number six? Yes, we do. Luka is your Western Conference Finals MVP. 23 13 and 9 for him. Ruben taking on Bam out of bio in the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. They got James Harden now on the roster. Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Nicole Jovich, Bam out of bio, Jaime Kiss Jr., Tyus Jones. I think it's a solid addition. They got a good squad. I was like, <laughs> Gordon Hayward didn't retire in this, but they got a good squad. Game one goes to us, 142 to 120. Luka leading the way with 39, 6, and 10 in game number one. Game number two is also ours, 35 for Kyrie Irving, 29 for Curry, and 27, 13, 10 for Luka Doncic. Game number three is also going to us. I like the way that this is going, 28, 16, 14 for Luka. I said I was going to get some game action, though. Uh, let's get some game action. You know, it's the NBA Finals, so I'll see you guys in game. We are now here in game four of the NBA Finals. Maps currently up by two in this ball game curry has the ball for the dallas mavericks taking that step back jumper and he misses we got go wish to rebound on the other end if the dallas mavericks win this game they will win the nba finals if they do not win this game then well the series will be extended by at least one more because dallas is up 3-0 in the series inside jimmy butler with the ball what's he gonna do he's got kyrie irving on him he's gonna get that layup to go over kyrie we now have a tie ball game with just over two minutes left to go let's see how things play out at the end of this ball game anything's possible we have luka Doncic on the other end currently guarded by Jimmy Butler and it's going to be an illegal screen by PJ Washington on James Harden that's weird seeing James Harden in a Miami Heat jersey but you know Harden's been in a lot of jerseys the last couple of years regardless though that's a big issue and a big mistake by PJ Washington on that possession Jimmy Butler has the ball now for the Miami Heat out to Bam out to Jovic back to Tyler Hero in the corner Kyrie on him at the moment and pass it out to James Harden at the top of the key with Steph Curry look at Curry and 
on Mavs Harden on the Heat. This is crazy. Jimmy Butler out to Tyler Hero 4-3. And he misses. That's a wide open shot for Tyler Hero. But he's unable to get it to go. He has the ball on the other end for the Dallas Mavericks. Over to Luka Doncic. What's he going to do? He's got Hero on him. Looks like Curry is trying to get open. And uh, he does not get open though. But let's see how things play out. Curry has the ball. Luka Doncic with the screen. We got six seconds left to go. Luka open for the mid-range jumper. And he misses. Luka also missing an open jumper. That's not good. Hero on the other end with the ball over to James Harden. What's he going to do inside to Bam out of bio? He's got Luka on him. And Bam is going to miss the little push shot though. Luka Doncic going to get the rebound on the other end. Pushing it off the court as quick as possible. Looks like Curry is trying to get open once again. Looks like Gaffer is going to come over and set the screen on Bam. Just putting the switch back on. Gafford inside. Followed by Bam out of bio. But it's going to be two free throws for Daniel Gafford. Two very clutch free throws. But what's he going to do? He's not the best free throw shooter. He misses the first one. So it's still a tie ball game. Yeah, he's going to be upset after missing that first one. Can he hit the second one? He has to hit this one. And he misses as well. Wow. Daniel Gafford just missed two straight clutch free throws. Tyler Hero now in the corner. Currently guarded by Kyrie Irving. Butler has the ball once again with Luka Doncic on him. Back out to Tyler Hero. We got 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Just over 35 seconds left to go in this ball game. Tyler Hero for three over Kyrie Irving. He misses. We're going to have the rebound. Dallas. Kyrie Irving up the court. What's he going to do? He's got Yovich and Tyler Hero currently guarding him at the moment. Out to Steph Curry. He's got Jimmy on him. Gaffer's going to come over and set the screen left. Luka Doncic inside. What's he going to do? Is he going to try and do a little push shot, push layup here? He's going to get the jump and he gets that bucket to go. 118 to 116. That's a big two points for Luka Doncic and we got timeout. 118 to 116. We have 16 seconds left to go in this ball game. The Heat obviously have to at least get a two to tie this ball game. Three to win. What are they going to do? And let's see how they pick their poison. Jimmy Butler has the ball. We got five seconds left to go on the shot clock. Is he going to attempt a three? He's going to attempt a little mid-range jumper over Luka Doncic and he misses it. So that means that the Heat have lost. The Dallas Mavericks win 118 to 116 here in game four of the NBA Finals. That's actually crazy. That's a crazy way to end the finals too just on that single shot. And of course the Dallas Mavericks of course are so happy beyond belief following that play. So there you have it. That's going to be the conclusion of today's video. Like I mentioned before, I thought it'd be pretty interesting to see how things would play out if I put Steph Curry on the Dallas Mavericks roster instead of Klay Thompson. I am very curious to see how things would play out in real life with Klay Thompson on the Dallas Mavericks roster. Of course, he's played for the Golden State Warriors his entire NBA career, but now things are going to be different for Dallas and Klay Thompson with him now on the roster. And Potentially, Dallas has, Dallas has a really good roster the next couple years, uh, so they definitely will be back in title contention. So let's see how things play out. Of course, with Luka Kyrie and now Klay Thompson on the Dallas Mavericks roster. So if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like, subscribe, future content. If you want me to do this to any other players, let's see. If you want me to do this to any other players, let me know down in the comment section below. I thought it'd be pretty interesting. And we're seeing Curry holding up the NBA Finals trophy in a Dallas Mavericks jersey. That's crazy. Yeah, but if you want me to do this to any other players, see how like things would change and everything. I love the what if scenarios, so I think that'd be pretty fun to do. Kyrie touching that. NBA Finals trophy right there. And of course, Luka Doncic is your Finals MVP as well. Luka's just insanely good. I hope Luka wins an MVP in the next couple years as well. You know, get someone else besides Jokic, you know, and beat Giannis. Although they're very deserving. But I want Luka to win one. I think it'd be pretty interesting. Regardless, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Again, if you want me to just anyone else, let me know down in the comment section below. If not, I hope you all have a great day.